Are you going on holiday? Yes, that's exciting. Where are you planning on going? Norway. Oh, which city? Bergen. Okay, um, then do you want a cup of coffee? And we can go through a little bit of activities that you can um, do in Bergen if you like. Yes? Okay. Let's get you a cup. Yes, I made it just this morning. Do you want something in it? Milk or sugar? No, you want it black, just like me. But... There you go. So, let's take a look. Even though Bergen is Norway's second largest city, it has a lovely small town vibe and atmosphere. Houses cling to the mountainsides and there is an abundance of all wooden houses and narrow lanes packed with cozy restaurants and shops. Since Bergen is a lively student town, 10% of the inhabitants are students, there is always something going on. Catch a concert, enjoy an exhibition, browse the many trendy shops, and find a perfect bar or restaurant. The very first buildings in Bergen were situated at Bergen, which has been a vibrant and important era for the city for many centuries. Bergen has had many fires. The Great Fire of 1702 in particular. It reduced the whole of the city to ashes. The area was rebuilt on the foundations that had been there since the 12th century, which means that Brigand is basically unchanged despite the passing centuries. In 1360, the German Hanseatic League set up one of its import and export offices at Brigan to stroll through the narrow alleyways and overhanging galleries it is to step back into the mists of time. Brigan is very much a living part of the cultural heritage that is still in active use 
in this historical era of the city. Today, there are several attractions in the area, from the old market, Bagenhu's fortress, and there are many cafes, restaurants, and shops to choose from. Many of the shops sell traditional and unique crafts. Hiding behind the iconic Bacon front lies a hidden world of passages, small shops, galleries, and artist studios, ready for you to explore. What you don't see from the street is the jewelers, artists, and textile designers. You can take a guided day trip by boat to one of the most beautiful fjords of Norway. Embark on a one-day tour of the Norwegian countryside, which takes you through some of the most beautiful scenery. Experience the Narrow Fjord, one of the narrowest fjords in the world, and travel by boat, rail, and water while admiring the panoramic views. If you are a art lover, Koda, the art museums of Bergen, would be perfect for you. Koda is one of the Nordic country's largest museums for art, design, craft, and music. Koda has a unique combination of art museums and composers' homes. The museums have almost 50,000 objects, ranging from sculptures, paintings, videos, musical instruments, furniture, and fine design and craft. The Code Museum consists of four museums. Code 1, 2, 3, and 4. It's possible to experience the masterpieces from Edvard Munch, Pablo Picasso, Nikolai Astrup, and Paul Klee. Just to mention a few. The first code museum is called Permanenten. At Permanenten, they show temporary exhibitions across three floors. The Creative Family Workshop on the ground floor is open every weekend. Traditionally, this is the building housing the collection of fine craft and design. Norwegian silver 
and a Chinese art collection. At the top floor you find fast salon, suitable for hosting various large events and festive occasions in addition to the library and meeting rooms. The Code Museum number two is called Stenerson. Stenerson is a museum for alternating exhibitions. There are two flexible exhibition rooms on the first floor and on the ground floor you find the reception and codes bookshop. They show between six and eight new exhibitions every year in this museum. Presenting international contemporary art, handcraft or graphic art and exhibitions of works from their own collections. The Code Museum number three, the collection assembled by businessman Rasmus Mayer has given its name to this museum. There you will also find the third largest Edward Munch collection in the world. Access two floors, you wander through the golden age of Norwegian art history. From 1880 to 1905 and onwards to 1920. They show works by artists like Yesedal, Hans Gude, Harriet Bakker, Christian Kroeg, as well as Norwegian students Henrik Sørensen and Jean Heiberg. In Rasmus Meyer you find permanent exhibitions. Very few changes are made to the selection in display. Still, you will easily be tempted to return to the museum several times, perhaps to discover some new favorites. Code Museum number four is called Lysverke. At Lysverke, they show temporary exhibitions as well as permanent work from their collection. The building is from 1938 and was previously the administration building for the power company Bergen Lysverker. If you are interested in classical music, you may be interested in visiting Lysøen and it's the home of Ole Bull. Bull was a world famous violin player and composer and the museum at Lysøen consists of his magnificent villa. Here you find a collection of objects and furniture after Ole Bull, with much still placed like it was when he lived there. 
in the beautiful music hall, he hold a series of concerts throughout the summer. Li Suan is also a nature experience for the whole family. The next house is Edward Grieg's house. The composer Edward Grieg lived here with his wife, singer Nina Gregg. Gregg is the most famous and internationally acclaimed Norwegian composer. Trollhaven was opened as a museum in 1928. The museum consists of the villa, as you can see right here. The composer's hut, right here, as well as a modern museum built with a cafe and the concert hall, Trollsal, right here, this large building. Trollhaven is an attractive venue for some of Norway's leading performers of classical music and a number of prominent Norwegian and international artists perform in the Chamber Music Hall, Trollsalm, throughout the year. Trollhaven is located at Hoop in Bergen. The museum is opened year-round with daily concerts during the summer season as a popular event. Trollhaven also hosts the international Edward Grieg Piano Competition. The next thing to do when you're in Bergen is to take the Fleiban funicular to the top of the Mount Fleian. Check out the spectacular view of the city. Play in the troll forest or walk exciting nature trails. A trip with the vernacular Fleiban is a great experience with the two carriages that have transported people to the mountain for over a hundred years. The tour starts in the heart of Bergen city and takes you to the top in approximately six minutes. There you will get a spectacular panoramic view over the city, fjord and mountains. From Mount Fleien there are walks on gravel roads and paths to fantastic viewpoints where you can enjoy views of the fjord, mountains and the city below. You can also walk from Mount Fleien to Mount Ulriken. This hike is called Vitten and is one of Bergen's most popular mountain hikes. You can walk in either direction, but a lot of people prefer to start at Ulriken and finish 
at play in, which is right in the city center. The hike takes approximately five hours. To walk down from Fleyen, it takes around 45 minutes. Mount Fleyen is the perfect starting point for hiking. Both shorter and longer hikes for wheelchairs, strollers, young people and elderly. Playin has roads and hiking trails that are suitable for everyone. The charming place to end shop and cafe offers pastries, ice cream, hot and cold drinks, as well as souvenirs and gifts. And as you can see, don't Feed the trolls, <laughs> but they are not alive in the daytime. In the daytime, they look just like this little guy that you are going to see when you get up there. He comes alive at night. So, you must come down from the mountain before it gets dark, okay? <laughs> and this is Ulaiken. It's five minutes to the top. Since 1961, Ulriken cable car has carried passengers from the city to the high mountains. Ulriken cable cars and the Ulriken mast has become a Bergen icon, placed on the highest of Bergen's seven mountains. Take the cable car up to the top of Bergen and enjoy a fantastic view and a wonderful landscape in true high mountain nature. Treat yourself to a unique dining experience at the skyscraper restaurant or explore the fantastic hiking opportunities Ulriken offers. At the top of Ulriken there are activities, a restaurant, a Ulriken cafe and an incredible view. And you, of course, need a place to stay. Mm -hmm. Then I would recommend um, Halilun Hotel and Spa. Mm -hmm. It's on the top of the mountain and you have a lovely view of the fjord. Mm -hmm. Or if you want to live in the woods, and um, Hulda Inn is also very popular. Okay, so now I will be needing some information so I can book your plane ticket for you. So we can start with your name. And your last name. Address, please. Mm -hmm. Very good. And 
to your phone number. Excellent. And your email. to sit by the window or by the aisle mm -hmm. there we are then the ticket is sent to your email mm -hmm. yes so I hope you have a lovely trip to Bergen and that you get to see all the things that we looked at yes and that it doesn't rain that much when you're there mm -hmm. so have a good trip bye thank you so much Super.